Hello and welcome to another program tutorial in Visual Basic 2010 with Hellfire 1997. Now, last time I showed you how we can actually start firing our shots and how to reset them. There we go, we can just fire them now. So this time I will be showing you how to do collision detection with our labels with our invaders. Now this is actually quite an easy bit of code. When I first that started out I thought this would actually be rather difficult but it's actually quite easy so we just can get rid of our variables and come down to our timer. Right. So we want to come down to a subroutine of move shot down to here and here is our code to move it all up so what we want to do is we need to create some more subroutines for each shot so private sub shot one hit we basically need to do this for each of our shots shot two hit Right, so here's our subs, so all we want to do is we want to come into our actual moving of our shots. So here, we just want to do a simple for next loop so that we can use our away, uh, array here. So come back down, we want to do for i, e, equals 0 to 11 and this opens up our loop and then we just want to do shot we want to do an if statement if shot 1 dot bound dot intersects with brackets aliens brackets i bracket dot bound bracket then so basically this line of code is it's seeing if the outside of our label here if it intersects or is inside one of the picture boxes then it'll do this code and the for next loop is basically so it will check through each picture box every time it moves the shot. So we just want it to come down to shot one hit and then when it does that it will come down to the this subroutine of which we'll write our code. But first we just want to copy this code into all of the others. So we again we want to go here for i equals zero to 11 if shot 2 dot bound dot intersects with aliens i dot bounds then shot 2 hit Right, so now for each of our shots, if, for example shot 1, every time it moves the shot upwards it will do this for next loop and go through the array to see 
our shot or the label intersects with the actual picture box and if it does it'll do this it'll come here and then it'll come down to this subroutine for we to rewrite our code now before we come down here we need the new variable we need an integer which for some reason I have already created I do not remember creating it but there you go rich alien now the reason for this is we need to remember or we need to tell the program which alien has been hit so which alien to use so if we come here we do shot one hit but before we do that we want to do which alien equals i now the reason we do this is this i is a bit like a local local variable whereas our other variables up here are local to this form well this i is only local to this for next loop which means if we try referring to it in another part of the program it will just go up with an error so we need to change this which alien bit or our which alien variable to make it equal to i so we can tell the program later on that we want this one and we can just copy and paste this into uh, the others because we need it for all our shots shot 4 hit and then shot 5 hit so like I said we just need this because we won't be able to use I we need to use the actual variable now if you want you could have a different variable for each one and that would be better practice however the chances of two labels hitting two separate aliens at exactly the same time are pretty damn small so this isn't likely to cause us a problem so now we need to come down here for shot one hit well first we want to do fired or fire one equals false so that it will stop moving our shot one upwards and start moving it left and right if you remember from my previous tutorials and now if we do shot one dot location e Calls restart shot dot location and uh, first if we actually just make it invisible so shot one dot hide so these three lines of code this means it will stop moving the shot upwards and start moving left and right while spaceship this one means it will hide the shot and this one restarts it back to our full location now now we actually want to tell our program that we want to move our remove our alien now the way i do this isn't really the best practice but it saves a lot of fact about i basically tell it to move the alien far down off the screen out the way because you can try and like disable it and then hide it and then move out the way and all that but it's a lot of faff about and if you just move it off screen or you could use a, an integer to uh, tell it if uh, the integer equals 1 if it's 0 for it and then if it's equal to 1 and then hide the alien and then if it's equal to 1 don't collide with it but that's a lot more faff about that I'll probably show you a later tutorial and I've just realised for some reason that is spelt wrong damned typos anyway there we go so like I was saying just to make it quicker and easier what I generally do is I would we because our array can use any integers and not just these eyes we can do aliens which alien in brackets dot top equals aliens which alien dot top plus 10,000 so that will basically just move the alien off the screen so if we're trying to run our program now and just fire one shot 
there we go that alien will now be off the screen down here somewhere we can try it with the rest of our shots first one removed but we haven't entered the curved frame but it's exactly the same code so if we've just removed that we can it's literally we just do fire two equals false shot two dot hide shot two dot location equals restart shot dot location and then aliens which alien dot top equals aliens which alien dot top plus 10,000 and we just repeat this code for all our subroutines Now, so we've inserted our code for each of these subroutines. So if we now run our program, now each shot should start removing invaders. And there we go, we can start removing them. Now, one last thing to show for the collision detection, we actually want a way for the player to actually lose the game. Otherwise, if the aliens get down to here and they manage not to kill them all somehow, then the player's going to be stuck because they're not going to be able to shoot them if the aliens are down here off the screen. So, again, we just use exactly the same piece of code, except this time, instead of using the shots and our invaders, we use our invaders and our spaceship. So, when it we come down to our sub of move aliens down here, Got to remember where I put it now. Um, ah, here we go. So here we just want to do exactly the same thing. We just want we want to come here, and we want to do if if aliens do I dot bounds dot intersects with spaceship dot bounds then so we want to come here so we just write another subroutine to come to so we do private sub player died or dead did come back to where we put it here <coughs> then we put player dead in there so it will now come to this subroutine so in this subroutine we want to stop our timer here that will stop moving this lot about so we want to stop our move comp so move comp dot stop that basically stops our timer we then want to change the picture in this picture box so for this piece of code we do my dot resources dot hang on yeah, I wasn't watching what I'm doing we are actually want to do spaceship dot image so spaceship is the name of this picture box remember so and image is the image inside it so we want to do spaceship dot image equals my dot resources dot name of oh wait a minute again not watching what I'm doing we want to import another picture 
so we want to get our explosion and just import that and not leave it make explosion for the full time we want to leave as our ship so we want to do my dot resources dot move back a bit because I can't remember exactly how it's about explosion 2 so this means that when it comes to this subroutine it will stop the component and it will change the image in our picture box to the explosion so if we now run our game start game and just allow our space invaders to come down right so now as you can see our aliens are nearly there so give them one more there we go explosion so now just to make it look a little less rubbish really let's just add a label change the color of the text to white change the font when it loads um, let's make it modern uh, bolder blue and a large size there you won't be able to miss that coming up in your face text you died Oh, if you spell dive right there we go then we just rename this from visible false rename this as dead and we go back on our code we just do dead dot show there we go once again we allow ourselves to die once again they're just about there and there we go you died now that is all from me what I will do next time is I will show you how to reset the level so that it's not just the one level you are playing and I will possibly also add a scoring system to give you like your score in like the top right or something anyway this has been healthy 199 97 and I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and it's been helpful to you. Bye!